History Channel's hit drama Vikings features many characters who wear tattoos to play up their ancient tribal nature. Of course, the actual history can't say for sure if that was a cultural truth. Historical accuracy is always slippery for television dramas, and on top of that, the records pertaining to the Viking people as they lived are all from third parties, since they kept no written records of their own. For instance, Rollo Sigurdsson, Ragnar Lothbrok's brother, is loosely based on a man that lived at the end of the 9th century that did indeed abandon his Nordic roots to become the first Duke of Normandy. Rollo does exactly this on Vikings, although the real-life man almost certainly wasn't at the actual sacking of Paris and was definitely not related to Ragnar. In fact, Ragnar can't be proven to ever have existed at all outside the written epics in which he's featured. Whether or not the Viking people were tatted up like the characters on the History Channel show, some of the ink shown on the series represents important aspects of the Viking mythology. In particular, Rollo has several elaborate tattoo designs. Accompanying all the characteristic weaving knot structures across his torso are a pair of wolves on his arm, which represent a deeper cut of Viking folklore than most. The two wolves Rollo has tattooed are brothers born of the great wolf Fenrir. In Norse mythology, the twin wolves are named Haiti and Skull, names that loosely translate to hate and mockery in English. The two wolves were, in most versions of the tale, the sons of Fenrir and a werewolf mother. Being a creature of darkness and a son of Loki, Fenrir is eventually imprisoned in magical chains by Odin and the rest of the divine pantheon until the Norse interpretation of the apocalypse, Ragnarok. His wolf sons are enraged by the act and, after failing to free him, begin chasing the astrological avatars of the sun and moon, the siblings Sol and Mani. As in many creationist myths, the brother-sister duo pull the celestial bodies around the world in perpetuity. Fenrir is meant to consume Odin when chaos reasserts itself and Ragnarok arrives, so his sons Haiti and Skull are designed to eventually catch and eat Sol and Mani to plunge the universe back into the darkness from whence it emerged. In a 2014 video shot for History's YouTube channel, Vikings makeup department head Tom McClurney and Rollo actor Clive Standen spoke about the character's tattoos. While McClurney initially joked that he had no idea what Rollo's tats meant and that the makeup team just slapped a bunch on his skin for no reason, Standen in interjected with a laugh to explain that Rollo means famous wolf, which factors into the wolf tattoos he has. McClurney piggybacked off that comment to detail. We have two wolves in Norse mythology, chasing the moon and the sun, one eating the sun and one devouring the moon. It was only a matter of seconds before the makeup department head was cracking jokes again. He was so adamant that he wanted to get his shirt off all the time that I had to, that only did I have to shave his chest because he's half bare. It's fitting for Rollo in particular to bear tattoos with such history. He is the one who initially suggests the rays that makes him and his brother famous, which is a particularly dark omen for history right off the cuff. Along with that effective historical characterization, the tattoos of Haiti and Skull that Rollo rocks is fitting for the place he has in relationship to his family and the rest of his clan. He's separated from them by bitterness that eventually blooms into hatred and acts out against them by joining their enemies. This all goes to show that even the smallest artistic touches can be used by a costume or art designer to give flavor and depth that only the most devoted audience would seek to learn. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.